I've been promoted at work to a team leader, which... Come on. Yeah, take him down. Take him down. Suplex, and his name is John Cena. Yep, I'm starting to cook like a pierogi in here. Ah, crap, 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 crap. Oh, these guns are powerful. Oh, yeah. Oh, got him. Yes, we set the torpedo bay on fire. We did enough damage to the German uh, escort ship. Yep, looks like some of their crew is starting to die. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet Lord Lon Johnson. Ah, oh, my God. This is Bravo 3. We are encountering heavy air resistance. We're not. If we can't get that one ship, then it's going to be all for nothing. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Yes! Bombs on target. Yeah. JU-88 is going down. He's tail spinning. Oh, no. Hello and welcome back to the Improved Conquest mod series and today we are going to be checking out two aircraft made by Mr. Mir Scratch. Now first aircraft we're going to be trying out is a pretty specialized twin engine fighter, the F5A1. We'll give this a try, we'll attack some air forces, maybe do some strafing runs on some ships and the second aircraft to check out will be the A23B1 Dingo anti-ship attack aircraft. This thing comes loaded with massive 40 mil cannons and uh, I want to say a pretty good amount of bombs. I think it's like 12 or 16 bombs. And then this fighter comes preloaded with 20 mil cannons and all, that's all it has is cannons. But this thing is pretty deadly against aircraft. So I'm going to be giving these beastie looking planes a nice trial. Again, they are made by Mr. Mere Scratch, and we are using the World War II add-on pack for the Improved Conquest mod. Mod. Yeah, because it's a mod, so you have to have multiple mods with the mod to make the mod more better. So, we are at the small airfield here on Donk Island. So, looking at the map, we have a heavy presence of German ships moving in towards their oil refinery. They're currently getting ready to offload some defensive armaments. We have what appears to be, yep, yeah, a T-23... And I think that's like a Graf Spree. Yep, a Graf, Sp Graf Spee. That's it. Graf Spee. Not Graf Spree. That was the carrier. We got a whole bunch of enemy aircraft. They're mostly conquering the main continent. So we want to cut off the refinery supplies. So we're going to attack both of these ships and any air forces that come about. So let's get to it. First off, we are going to try out the A51. So we're going to get inside. Oh, we're going to want to grab a parachute in the back. And now this plane actually comes with this little stand here. And I'll actually arm up from it before I do go. Grab a pistol, grab health kit. We'll grab oxygen mask, a flare, and the radio. Okay, so that's good. We run back up to our plane. Run back inside, grab a pilot seat, we hit four for canopy, closes canopy, first master breaker, toggle projector, run fuel pumps, and now E1 and E2, and start. Okay, very simple, easy, easy systems. What we do need to do though is be careful how we pull out of the hangar. So we're going to taxi nice and easy, just taxiing nice and lightly onto the runway. Gotta make sure, and now we're not using infinite fuel or infinite ammo or any of that stuff. So if we run out, we run out. And the goal is simple. We have to attack the Germans before they can reinforce their refinery. If they do reinforce it, then we're going to take a lot of heavy hits. But the goal is simple, attack the refinery. If we can take it, we'll take it. I'll even land this beastie thing right on there. Okay, now here's something cool. The landing gear system is actually this little crank so it's set down right now but you have to you hit the crank I'm hitting it really hard with Q and E and boom landing gears up that's actually pretty cool because a lot of those starting landing gears were crank systems not just a button this is Alpha 1 we are inbound to intercept German ships we possibly will have some enemy aircraft along the way that we'll have to intercept we are hoping for some good hits good kills 
and a safe return. I say again, we will attempt to bring this aircraft back in one piece. If not, well, hopefully insurance will cover acts of war. Contact. Enemy ship has been spotted. Moving near intercept and strafe. Now, I said it so the ships have to actually sink and not just explode. So, let's hope that we get some good lucky shots. Oh, boy. Oh. Yep, dodge it, dodge it. We don't want him to rendezvous with that other ship. So, we're going to need to luckily strafe. Strafe down the deck. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm hit. I say again, I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. Yep, I've been hit. I say again, I've been hit. Um, is there a thing to turn off to fire extinguisher? There we go. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. We're losing engine speed. I say again, we're losing engine speed. I'm trying to put the fire out over there, but... Nope. Or, uh, nope, we lost control. I say again, we lost control. Bailout. Bailout, bailout. Ah, uh, I've been shot down. No. Ah, uh, this is not good. Oh, he's taking hits. He f this is scary. This is not how we wanted this to happen. That's okay. We tried. Okay, so since there's a lot of ships, we're going to go with the anti-ship. Oh, crap. We're going to go with the anti-ship aircraft, the A-23B-1. So, to close the camping. Now, this one's pretty much a similar layout. I actually really like these layouts for this. Good job, bud. Good job here. Main battery, E-1, E-2, and fuel pumps. Ah, sweet. E-1 and E- Yeah, E-1 and E- Oh, they're both fire suppressions. Okay. Uh, E2 repair. He probably meant to put E2 in there. If you see this, make sure to label that E2. We, uh, we've all done that before. So we got that armed. Toggle brakes. So this aircraft also has a gunner seat. So I kind of wish I had a buddy with me right now. But anytime I try and do anything multiplayer on Stormworks, as like 90% of the Stormworks community is aware, anything you do on multiplayer is going to be absolutely laggy, especially if you're doing mods. But for this episode, I'm mostly just curious on showing how these aircraft work and get some good emotional damage against the Germans. Okay. So, we have that set, that set. Now, this plane could also have external fuel tanks and um, extra side artaments. I'm not I'm not using any of that stuff. I'm just kind of going through, like, the basic stuff. Okay, so let's lower down. We don't need to be in emergency war power the entire time. Landing gear up. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've gotten this, and this beast also has some uh, simple autopilot altitude hold. And you can also have certain settings, so like torpedo and bombing runs. So, if we look at the armaments, we have... Okay. Uh-oh. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. I know what happened. I got... I flew too far away. Oh, no! Ah, damn it. Unfortunately, the Germans have reinforced their refinery and the ships are currently on their way out from the refinery so now we want to intercept those ships before they get back to the main island or they're gonna call all their air force buddies to take me down so I'm gonna hopefully destroy the crap out of them with these epic looking 40 mil cannons if not I'm just gonna bomb them bomb them right to kingdom damn come enemy ships should be there they are there's one of them and the other one right behind so the, we're gonna take out the escort Oh, these guns are powerful. Oh, yeah. Oh, got him. Yes, we set the torpedo bay on fire. Oh, that's a sweet, sweet hit. Okay. Enemy escort ship is hit and burning. Now we just need to try and strafe around to get that freaking destroyer. This is turning off 40 mils. We're gonna line up for that ship. Whoa. He is all guns right now. I say again, he is all guns blazing. Oh, crap, crap, crap. We can do this. 
We are masters of the art of bombing stuff. But we're also taking a lot of fire. No! Oh! Wow. Oh my, I hit the wrong button. So let's do this. Oh crap, I still have... Oh, got some good hits. Enemy ship is listing. They are still going hard though. A lot of the, uh, all the aircraft seem to screwed off. Oh crap, I took some hits along the side of my wing. Okay, lining it up. Yes, got some good hits on the stern. We gotta clean that ship up though. We gotta take him down. Oh, sweet Lord Lon Johnson. Oh, that was too close, too close. Whew, they're still going, even on that heavy list. Look at that, they are just, oh, Papa John. I'm surprised that they haven't, maybe we took out their communications, but I'm surprised they haven't called in for air reinforcements. Whoa! These strafing runs are getting a little dangerous. Water's going over their main decks. They only seem to be able to hit us from one side. Some of their guns seem to be disabled. Oh, crap. Come on. Oof. What's our ammo at? 35 rounds, 6 bombs. Okay, my bad. I said 12. I thought it was 12 because they were doubled. Nope. We got 6 bombs. Yes! We set on fire! Yes! Enemy escort ship is on fire and burning. Now we just gotta hope the fire actually takes him out. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. It looks like all of his engine components are starting to burn. Enemy ship is disabled. I say again. I think they're dead in the water. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Enemy ship is sinking. Whoa. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, that was my bad. I screwed that up. Yep, enemy ship is going down. We did enough damage to the German uh, escort ship. Yep, looks like some of their crew is starting to die. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going down. Nothing, yeah, nothing can save that thing now. Oh, uh, yeah, it's tilting. Ah, uh, <laughs> we did it. We sank them. We sank them, everybody. What are you thinking about? Is it? Oh, he's tilting. Oh, yeah, he is. He's tilting. Yep. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the German bugs bite. And it's gone. We did it. Escort ship and main ship were destroyed. Okay, so we took out those two ships. But here's the thing. The enemy, their air forces were called in and they are now defending the oil refinery. This is not a good sign. That's a lot of aircraft. Like we got Stukas, we got F-190, BF 110s, another F-190, JU two JU 88s. This is a lot of air resistance. So there's a good now. It's a good chance for us to try out this F-5 A1 to see how well it can handle itself in air combat. So another thing too, on the left side you have up agility and lower agility. So I'm actually gonna up that twice and see how well that helps. We got our, our 20 mil cannons are activated. All in all, we are ready to intercept those air forces. So let's do this. Oh God, here they are. That's a whole bunch of everything. The ju 88s doing some crazy. Fifth gen maneuvers. Or he's crashing. He's probably crashing. I see what appears to be an FW-190. Damn it. Got very little hits on him. Oh, I got a hit. I got a hit on that BF-110. Let's stick on him. It's flying into our sights. Oh, we actually got him. We had we got some good hits. Uh oh, am I out of ammo? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Suplex, and his name is John Cena. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that did more damage to me. Ah, uh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, crap. Bail out. Bail out. Bail out. Bail out. Wait. Ah, uh, I don't have an actual parachute. No! <laughs> I forgot to change out my parachute! Ah, uh, God damn it. Looks like all the enemy fighters decided to disperse and flew back to the main continent. Okay, here we go. I can see there's like some type of defense thing right on those shores. Oh, stupid tail. Yes! Yes, we got some hits on it. Oh, crap. He got hit on me. Oh, crap. Engine's on fire. Engine's on fire. Oh, crap. Something else is on fire. Yep, that whole engine is starting to break off. Let's try and return to base. Do we? I think we have a fire extinguisher in here. We do. Every time I jump, I fly further and further off the plane. Come on. I should probably just wear the parachute. Oh, crap. Yeah, that engine's dead. That engine just died. Okay, let's try and return to base. Uh, I'm a little stooped here. I have no idea what the what my plan of action should be. That engine is cooking. Pretty soon, I'm going to be cooking. Yep. I'm starting to cook like a pierogi in here. Ah, uh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, cut the engines. Fuel line off. Master breaker off. Ah, uh, let's get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. We did it. We bailed out. We just barely, we barely got out of that. Oh my god. This is Echo 2. We had to bail out. I say again, we had to bail out. Our plane's been shot down by by enemy flak. It's spinning out of control. And it's actually falling very slowly. That it's it's having a heyday right now. We are currently approaching the west side of Olsen Bay where we have a K-class ship and a Schnell boot. So the Schnell boot will be able to pick off with our 40 mils, no problem. But we do have some ground defenses. We have a strong point too, and I think yeah, flak 38. So those things might pick us off pretty easily. Ah, there we go. There's our targets. Oh crap, he's already onto us. Oh, and the snow boots right there. Come on, yeah, take him down, take him down. Nice. We got plenty of hits on him. Oh, there's the Schnell boot. Okay, we're going to have to come around if he doesn't shoot us down. Did we take any hits? I think we're I think we're okay. That's a first. Oh, that was a hit. We took a hit. Yes! Schnell boot is hit. Oh, we hit his torpedoes. Yeah! Oh, we set him on fire too. Yep, enemy Schnell boot has been disabled. We must have cooked the crew. Oh, crap. There's that defense right there. If we're lucky, maybe we can get some hits on him. Before the Air Force gets here. Yep, Schnell boot exploded. That's one less target. His ornaments must have been his downfall. Whoa! Shit, I'm hit. I'm hit. Okay, um... Fire suppression, fire suppression. Come on. Oh, my tail's burning. Come on, fire suppression. Prepare bombs. We have to stop that ship. If we're on fire, we're on fire. Oh, crap. Oh, we lost engine control. E2 is down. I say again, E2 is down. Oh, uh, no. We have to bail. I say again, we have to bail. No, I hit the propeller. Oh, and he hit me with cannons. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh. I cannot believe that ship actually hit my parachute with freaking cannons. That was just such a dirty move. I mean, the German army was known to shoot down pilots in the parachutes, which is pretty sad. But, damn, to be shot down by a giant naval cannon, that's just overkill. Okay, we caught sight of one of the enemy position's ground defenses. 
Yes! Yes, we got hits on it! I think, yeah, that actually did enough damage to it as well. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Whoa. There's that guy. Okay. We're gonna bomb him. We're getting ready to drop the bombs. Yes! Bombs on target. We did it. Oh, it looks... Yep. That did some good damage to him and to us. We bombed the enemy ship just as they decided to run aground. Oh, they are... Yeah, they ran aground all right. <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? This ship just, like, committed the ultimate suicide. As you can see, the leg is a little tenacious. Okay, let's see if we can hit that ground defense right in front of us. Yes! Yes, we got him. Aw, oh, crap, and they got me too. Aw, oh, crap, they got me. At least the ship exploded. Oh, the ship exploded. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, crap, crap, crap. Bailout. Bailout. Eee, damn it. Uh, I wasn't set to my parachute and I died. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh god, we got enemy aircraft right in front of us. Whoa. Okay. Um, it's going to chase us, but at the same time, we're not quite equipped to deal with the aircraft. Like, 40 mil cannons on a plane? It's very devastating. However, it's the amount of ammo we have. So, if we're lucky, we're going to try intercepting one of the ships in the harbor. Just... A matter of getting there without getting shot down. This is Bravo 3. We are encountering heavy air resistance. We're not if we can't get that one ship, then it's gonna be all for nothing. Here we go. I see the ship in the harbor, but there's so many air targets chasing us right now. Oh. Oh, looks like the ship oh, I thought the ship flipped over for a second. Oh, it is flipping over. Enemy ship is capsizing nope oh it's having a roll glitch okay that might work to our advantage yep it's gonna keep rolling and rolling and rolling so let's put a put it out of its misery no oh all the lag that's yep something's causing severe lag right now and it's probably because of that ship's rolling might have something to do with the weather. Holy Lord Lon Johnson. Okay, I have no choice. That boat needs to despawn because it's causing it's causing all the lag right now. Cause it's as you can see, it is freaking out. Look at that. Look how that slow motion. I have to do this. This is for the lag. This is for the lag. Yep. That was for the leg. Dead, dead, and dead again. There we go. Enemy JU-88 spotted. Oh! We hit him. One of his bombs dropped. Or that was a pilot. Alright, let's line up. We gotta hunt down some of these aircraft. Uh-oh. Some other aircraft is joining the fight. Oh, it's another JU-88. Oh, careful with that ammo. Yes! One of his engines are down. Yeah. That's a start. Let's try and hunt down the other one. We'll let that finish him off so we can save some ammo. Oh, got some more hits on the other JU-88. Uh-oh. That's either a BF-109 or an FW. Whoa. Oh, crap. Yep, he's trying to tail us. Yeah! JU-88 is going down. He's tail spinning. Let's try and get this other one. These bigger planes are nuisant. Whoa! Loop-de-loop. -loop. Yes, we got him! Another JU-88 going down. We managed to get at least two planes so far with this life let's see if we can hunt this fighter down let's see where is he at oh he's right in front oh crap that's what's happening i lost one of my engines 
Yes! Yeah, I set him on fire! Yeah, buddy! Okay, so it's just our propellers that seem to be damaged, but that's still still hazardous. Yeah, JU-88 is losing control. So we've got three planes shot down. Yep, he's going down as well. Woohoo! We did it! We are acing the skies. Oh, wow, he is dropping. Oh, he hits the ground and he's done for. We need to land at an airfield. We need to take an airfield so we can actually spawn from it. Be much more efficient. So let's see what we can do. If we can at least take out some of the ground defenses. Ah, there's an airfield right there. We just gotta spot those ground defenses and strafe them. What's our ammo count? 752. Oh, there must be a lot of ground defenses. Come on, line it up. Ah, I'm hit! I say again, I'm hit! I lost control! I lost control! Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. I can't even, like, stop the plane. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. The entire cockpit's destroyed. No! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Yes, thank you! I don't know what happened, but I seem to have glitched out of the plane. Oh my god. Oh, sweet Lord Lon Johnson. Okay, so we, par we, we managed to get the parachute to work this time, but we're right above a flak gun. This is like a German flak gun's favorite meal right now. I really hope that Stuka hits the ground. Yes, the Stuka! <laughs> Stuka pilot had no idea what to do. Come on. Come on. Don't let me die so freaking easily. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh, no freaking way. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Serpentine. Ah. <laughs> Taking so much fire. So close. We just got to get to that billboard. If we can get to the billboard, we'll be okay. Because then we can just keep respawning here. Ah, uh, so close, so close. Need to get to that billboard. Ow. No. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh my god, yes, we did it. Now we just gotta get inside. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, stop hitting the lights and hit the door button. Ah, oh, whoa, crap, 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 crap. Holy Lord Lon Johnson. Okay, screw it. I said screw it. I spawned in the plane. Doesn't really add to the realism of the situation. Um, is this even gonna work? I'm just gonna try and point my guns at the enemy. Screw it. Just. Full power. Full power. No. Ah, oh, crap. That did not work out in my favor. Damn it. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, my good Lord Jesus. Nope. Lord Lon Johnson, you are not happy. I've had enough of these stupid defenses everywhere. Yes. Is it destroyed? Is it dead? Yeah, that killed them. Okay, we gotta put one underneath each of the specified guns to do the most amount of damage possible. Oh, we still got one left. There we go. That took care of that. That defense is destroyed. Just one more defense. One more defense. Can we get to it? With all these aircraft chasing us around. Come on, come on, come on. So close, so close. Oh, God. Did he drop bombs? He dropped bombs. Oh, no way. Oh, oh, he bombed the defense. He actually bombed his own defense fence building thingy. That's hilarious. That's a f really big fail on his part. Okay. Oh, no. What broke? What broke? Oh, come on. No way. Oh, I had it. Okay, so praying that the tail doesn't decide to bounce and completely destroy itself like it did last time. That was really dumb. We have a whole crap ton of aircraft around us, so we have to take them out in order to take the airfield. All right, full throttle, full throttle. Okay, we are up in the air. Our guns are armed. 
Let's see how much damage we can do. Oh my god, there's so many aircraft around here. We got Stukas, we got BF 109s, we got JU 88s. The entire Lurtwaf has come to pay me a visit. Behind us, enemies are right behind us again. Oh, it's that Stuka. Whoa. Okay, let's pierce down on this one enemy. Oh, it's a Stuka. Oh, Phoenix isn't happy apparently with all these Germans around me. You can hear him. I took a really bad hit. Ah, oh, some of these planes are just right on me like no tomorrow. Oh, so come on, Stuka. Come on, line it up. It's like flying in Roblox. Oh no! Oh my god! As if! Oh no way! <laughs> oh my god, no. I really hope we don't lose another plane trying to take this airfield. Because at some point they're going to respawn more defenses. And this is getting really intense right now. This is actually really hard. This video is a lot longer than I expected it to be. But that is war for you. You can never predict the outcomes of war until it happens. Got some hits on something. Oh, another fighter incoming. Oh, nope. Oh, we got him. That was a BF-110. Yep. BF-110 is hit. Oh, he's trying to evade. Oh, let's see what that is. See, it's... Yeah, it doesn't give... I don't get a lot of mouse control or... I'm not able to look around as much when I'm fighting back. Where's all the enemies? Oh, that BF-110 is going to stall. Checking radar. Okay. Oh, there's an aircraft crashed in the forest and he just blew up. Nice. There goes the BF-110. He's going down. Yep. Yeah, he just hit the ground. He's a dead duck. He just got to explode. They're not exploding on time the way I expect them to. Oh, there he is. There's that last aircraft. Yes, he exploded on the ground. Now we just got to finish this guy. Yes! No! Damn it! I did not want to hit him. Okay, bail out. Bail out. Oh, it always keeps happening. I keep hitting them by accident. Oh, and he hit the bridge. <laughs> yep, the plane hit the bridge and got destroyed. I think in that case, maybe insurance will cover it. Insurance doesn't cover acts of war, but it'll cover acts of stupidity. <laughs> okay, uh, I think now we just have to walk over to the airfield. Can confirm. Uh, there's also a ship coming along this way. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, one thing that I should have set was the amount of time it takes to capture because sitting here for 12 minutes just to capture a base, that's that's kind of re relentless. Like it shouldn't it shouldn't take that long, but it, I guess it is a setting. Well, folks, we did it. We captured Harrison Air Base, a spot pretty key to capturing this entire continent now i know my last few episodes i haven't been keeping to the seed but i'm gonna try and keep to this seed and see it through just because it's been very rough not being able to actually like have like an actual conquest style to my videos as i did in my previous seasons but yeah i know we have harrison air base probably gonna get attacked by a bunch of ships and other stuff so I need to try and defend. I also need to go back around and capture some of these points. Make life a little easier. So those, these ones, since they're not even being attacked, they'll just be captured for the next episode. And we'll focus taking this entire continent. And I want to give a shout out to Mr. Mir Scratch for his F2A1 twin engine fighter and his A23B1 Dingo anti-ship attack aircraft. I'll have both of these awesome creations inside of the description uh, there'll be links below that way you guys can check them out these are really nice anti-lag 
type of aircraft. So I will say, good job, buddy. These are really good. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Improved Conquest mod Season 7. This up, uh, I'll have the episode number somewhere. I can't remember. I keep forgetting because I'm too busy trying to find the time to record. Now, I do apologize that I went two weeks without uploading any episode. I've been promoted at work to a team leader, which means I now have even more responsibilities at work. So I, <laughs> the fact that I actually found some time on a Sunday to record this video means a lot because, as most people know, when you're working for 48 50 hours a week and then you have to come home and you know take care of family and cook and clean and take care of yourself and everything else it uh, doesn't leave much room for gaming and I can't record when my son sleeps I've decided that that's no longer a viable solution because if I wake him up then you know it means he's awake and then angry and not sleeping so we need him to, to sleep so I'm not recording when he sleeps but I do thank everyone in the community for checking out my videos, for checking out all my other videos too and other games and not just Stormworks because I do appreciate that. But I do hope that you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to check out some of my other videos, my previous videos. As always, stay safe and stay happy.